Hi guys, welcome to my channel Vinyl Beauty or welcome back. I'm Debbie if you don't know me and in today's video we're going to be doing another look with the Nomad Cosmetics Whistler Snow Lodge palette. This gorgeous palette here. I've done a video already with it which was a first impressions. Did a blue kind of smoky winged out look with bronze in it using these shades. But I really wanted to play with it some more. I asked in the comments of that video if you would leave a suggestion of what colour combinations you'd like to see. And one of you did, and you've given me a bit of a challenge. So you want to see, for fox sake, which is this one here, an apres ski combined in a look. Now, they're not colours you'd naturally put together in a look, I don't think. And so that's what intrigued me to do it. I like a challenge, so let's see how I get on. I'm sure I can bring other colours in. Nobody said I couldn't do that, but I'm definitely going to incorporate those two shades in the look. So if you want to see how I get on and how the look comes together, please keep on watching. Okay, so I've scooched in. What we're going to do is prime with the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. I've not used a Nomad Shadow with this primer, I don't think. And I just recently used this with the Lois Cosmetics Meet Me at Midnight palette and really liked the effect. So I think this really does amp up the shades because we're going to be using quite a pale pastel green. I thought it was the ideal primer to do that. Never see anybody using this anymore because it's such a, an old product, I guess. But I love a white base. Just really, as I say, it amps up the pigment of any shadows that are kind of white based or very light but it worked really well in that that video with a, a lot deeper shade so yeah i think this is quite good you have to really uh blend it out quickly though otherwise you'll never blend it out but it's cheap as chips and it really does work yeah i love to have a challenge of what colors to put together like i do palette bingos and obviously that's random and it sort of gives you a a challenge depending on what comes out but it's nice to have your guys input and what you'd like to see me put together and what you really want to see so you know who you are I don't know if you want me to say who you are but thank you very much for the suggestion for this one because yeah it's going to be fun so we're obviously going to go for a two-tone look here I think I'm going to go for like a two-tone crease so I'm going to have the lighter kind of green in the front and the orangey shade on the outer part. So I'm going to start with the inner part first and going with Apre Ski. I'm going to use a Morphe M506 and I'm going to build that up in the inner part of my crease. What a beautiful mint green that is. Oh, that's stunning. As I say, I don't know if you'd normally put this with a orange toned red shade, so <laughs> we will see how that goes. There's not going to be a hope in hell of blending those two together, so. Uh, yeah, I'll just have to get them to meet where they touch, I think, in the middle. But wow, look at that over that white base. That is stunning. I love Nomad Shadows because they're so easy to work with as well. They're a little bit kick up in the pan, but they're really easy to work with, easy to blend. Pack quite a punch as well, I think. I said it in the uh, first impressions that I did of this palette that I really think the formula has improved so much. I don't know if they've changed anything from the original formula but I definitely like how all these shadows are performing particularly today how I'm doing this. So I'm gonna bring that onto the lower lash line a bit so I am wrapping that around as well. I'm taking it pretty high because why not? Why not make it dramatic? So I think I need to go that's a little bit more than halfway across with this up ski shade. So yeah, about to there, I think. Okay, so for Fox sake is next, which is this one here. And um, we're gonna pack that in kind of the outer V and into this area of the crease here. To begin with, I'm just gonna pack that down. Thought I would end up getting quite a bit of fallout, but I haven't, so we're okay. Doing quite a rounded shape here. At the moment I'm just pressing that on and I'm not really looking to, to blend it out or anything. Just figuring out where I want that colour to go. It's a very unusual colour combination, but I think I'm going to be able to do it. The biggest problem is going to be where these two shades touch because they're not going to blend well together. They're not the sort of shades to blend together. 
I'm going to keep this a lot lighter in tone. I'm not going to deepen up the outer corner with black or anything. So I've been doing a lot of that lately. So I'm just going to change to a bit smaller brush so we can do the lower lash line using my trusty 301 from Urban Decay and their Pro line of brushes. It's a lip brush, but it's got a bit of an angle on it, so it, it helps with getting onto the lower lash line without going too crazy. At least if you get fallout with a shade like this, you can just blend it into your blush and it's fine. So now I'm taking a brush, no additional product, just gonna blend this out on the lower lash line. And as I say, I only wanna take this about halfway. I need to really take my time to blend that out, but where it touches that green, we just literally just want it to touch the green. We don't want it to blend too much into that. Just gonna go in and pack a bit more of that color on. Make sure the color's nice and saturated in this outer corner. I still wanna try and get a blended effect as well. Just gonna pick up a tiny bit of this and just help with this blend here between this green and orange. <laughs> Don't often hear people talking about blending a, a mint green and an orange, do you? As I say, I'm always up to give any colour combination a go. Sometimes you just find the looks come from that, you know, just doing something you totally not consider doing. <laughs> about the best transition between the two I'm going to achieve without blending them too much and causing a muddy mess. So. I think it's looking too bad though. So I think we're going with the lid shade next. Okay, NYX Glitter Primer now all over the lids. We're not doing a cut crease or anything, just gonna plop that on really. Okay, shimmers then. So I'm gonna go in with Up To Snow Good first on this outer part. Not too much of that, but I wanna try it out. So I'm just gonna pack that next to that for fox sake shade. And that will help me give me the sort of blend that I need from shimmer into matte or matte into shimmer. And then next up I'm going to go into the gold, so very cool this one here. And I love a nice gold shade, so this should really add a little bit of sparkle to the centre of the lids. So okay, not too much of that, I'm just going for more so in the centre of the lids. That's so pretty and reflective. I'm just layering it a little bit over that up to snow good shade, the pinky shimmer that we have there. These shimmers are so, so pretty. For the rest of the inner part of the lid, we're going in with Whistler. And again, just layering the two shimmers over one another so that we get a little bit of a flow between the two. The lower lash line, I want a shimmery lower lash line, so I'm going to use Berry Cool the gold and I'm going to use Whistler the green. So I'm just going to pack Berry Cool on the brush, spray it with Fix Plus and apply that in the centre. And then Whistler more towards the inner part of the lower lash line. I've been loving a bit more of a shimmery lower lash line just lately, I think it can look so pretty. And then for my inner corners, I'm going to use Skiing, this one here. I'm just going to use that just to brighten the inner corner. I think too crazy. Okay, so that's the look to this point. Just going to hop off camera for something in my waterline, mascara and a lip. And I'll be back with you with the finished look. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. And it's an unusual colour combo for sure. I think I just about pulled it off. But it was so much fun. So in my waterline, I've gone in with an LH Cosmetics crayon. This is white core. Just really wanted a bit of brightness there. And then I've done a liquid liner on my upper lid with the Stay Perfect liquid liner from number seven in the green shade. They don't have like names for the shade, but it's a green. It's kind of a little bit uh, metallic to that though. And I've topped it off with a heavy metal glitter liner from Urban Decay. Not used these in forever and just remembered like how good they are because I wanted a bit of a frosty iciness to the look, but still a bit gold as well. I think this is the perfect shade for that and because they're in a liquid format and they dry down. I don't feel quite so frightened about using glitter next to my eyes with these. So yeah, it's giving it that frosty sort of edge to it. And then for lips today, got in with a classic. This is Velvet Teddy by MAC because I thought there's so much going on on the eyes. Just keep the, the lips nice and nude. So 
yeah I hope you enjoyed seeing this one come together and seeing me just like trying to attempt something that you perhaps just wouldn't otherwise do so yeah I think it looks quite cool actually I really want to play with some more of the tones in here I really want to make that shade the up to snow good be the focus of a look but I don't know what else to pair it with so maybe that and the ski bum shade could be cool together so yeah definitely going to play with this some more I'm so inspired by this palette really love the quality of it as well so yeah thank you so much for watching this one if you're new to my channel hope you might consider subscribing before you go other than that guys I hope you're keeping safe and well have a lovely day or night wherever you are catch you in the next one bye guys <laughs>